as we prepare ourselves to welcome this new day as we enter into the presence of the lord let us take a comfortable posture let us be united with god let us become aware of our feelings our emotions all that that is going on within us as we do this let us have this attitude of gratitude in us and let us thank the lord for all the good things that he has done for us we thank him for giving us the gift of this new day we thank him for protecting us and guarding us all through the night we thank him for the gift of our family members near and dear ones our friends colleagues and all those who make us feel special and all those who are part and parcel of our life at the same time we also thank him for the many opportunities that he has given us opportunities to grow opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others at the same time we also thank him for giving us all the graces that we require especially in those trying and testing moments especially in times wherein everything seemed lost we also thank the lord for accompanying us during those challenging moments at the same time let us also become aware of all the times wherein we have failed to listen to the word of god for all the times wherein we have gone contrary to what jesus has told us for all the times wherein we have not followed the gospel values let us remember these moments and let us ask pardon from the lord for all those times wherein we have done things our own way rather than following his command and as we do this we can slowly become aware of ourselves let us become aware of what is happening within us as well as what is happening around us let us become aware of the various sounds that we can hear around us sounds of birds chirping sounds of insects maybe sound of traffic and maybe some sounds of some domestic appliances let us become aware of these sounds that are there around us and as we become aware of these sounds you will realize that slowly you will be able to separate these sounds from everything once this is done focus on what is happening within you focus on the emotions the feelings that are there within you what is happening what is going on within you there may be a mixture of feelings and emotions churning at the same time you may have feelings of anger hurt feelings anxiety stress become aware of these emotions and feelings and as you do this you will experience that you are able to get in touch with your inner self and that is one of the ways where you can then be in contact with god and be in a much deeper relationship with him as you do this as you become aware and as you identify these emotions you will see them rising to the surface and as this happens you can then offer them to the lord because for the lord everything is possible on our own it is difficult to deal with these 
emotions and feelings that tend to take us away from him. But for him, everything is possible. And as we offer these feelings to the Lord, as we place them at his feet, we ask him to give us the grace so that we may feel light. Just as he said that he has come to take away our burdens, let us offer all that which weighs us down to the Lord. At the same time, let us also offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. We shall also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We ask the Lord to bless them so that their prayers may be answered. We also pray for those who celebrate their birthdays and their wedding anniversaries today. And we ask the Lord to bless them and give them good health of mind and body. At the same time, we also pray for all those who are preparing for their exams and for their interviews. And we ask the Lord to help them so that they may experience the fruit of their hard work. And we also pray for those who are sick, those in hospitals, those undergoing surgery and other treatment. We ask the Lord to be with them, protect them and give them his healing touch. And as we reflect on today's readings, as we offer this morning offering and the morning prayers, we ask the Lord for the grace that we may be able to focus everything on building treasures in heaven so that eventually when we enter the heavenly kingdom there is always something for us to rely on and let us ask the Lord for the grace that we may be able to see him in those whom we encounter let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen O Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary I offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intention of the Pope for the month of July. The Elderly we pray for the elderly who represent the roots and memory of a people. May their experience and wisdom help young people to look forward towards the future with hope and responsibility. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments. 
but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen pray to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen pray for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right Christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I sit down Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word 
was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day 
to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Holy Mary pray for us Holy Mother of God pray for us Holy Virgin of Virgins pray for us Mother of Christ pray for us Mother of the Church pray for us Mother of Mercy pray for us Mother of Divine Grace pray for us Mother of Hope pray for us Mother most pure pray for us Mother most chaste pray for us Mother inviolate pray for us Mother undefiled pray for us Mother most amiable pray for us Mother admirable pray for us Mother of good counsel pray 
for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls 
Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, the readings of today invite us to focus our attention on building treasures in heaven. And right at the outset, we can define what do these heavenly treasures exactly mean. Well, first and foremost, we see that in today's world, there is this tendency of amassing more and more wealth. There is this race in order to be the first, the race in order to achieve more and more. And in this way, we see that our whole focus is on amassing more and more. In the bargain, what happens is that we tend to get greedy, we tend to become proud, and we neglect those around us. Sometimes in our greed, we also tend to exploit many other people. And in this way, unconsciously, we see that we tend to contribute to more evil. And therefore, all the three readings of today, in a special way, invite us to focus on what we really need to do. We need to let go the tendency of building or storing up treasures on earth. Because as today's gospel says, when we die, whatever we have stored on earth is somehow lost. We don't take it with us. But what will count is the treasures that are stored in heaven. And what are these treasures? These treasures consist of every good deed that we do. And therefore, every time we help someone in need, we speak a good word. Or every time we think something for the betterment of others, we are depositing slowly by slowly, little by little, treasures in heaven. And at the end of time, on judgment day, this is what will count. And therefore, this, in a way, will also help us to cooperate with Jesus in building the kingdom of God on earth. Ultimately, the kingdom of God is all about spreading peace, love and joy to those around us. In a way, we will see that what is important is that we need to share things with others. And that is precisely exactly what happened to the man. In today's parable no doubt he had amassed everything by his own effort he had not cheated anyone but the mistake with him was that he only kept things for himself he was selfish and greedy and as a result of it he did not even think once of sharing things with others similarly in today's second reading we see that Saint Paul tells the people of Colossea that they need to focus their attention on building unity because Christ is in us and we are in Christ and therefore all of us are one. Through Christ we have been reborn. He has renewed us by his death and resurrection. 
And therefore, being a renewed person, we need to change our worldly ways and adopt ways of heaven. And as we reflect on these readings, as we prepare ourselves to enter into the presence of the Lord, let us ask the Lord for the grace that we may be able to see God in all things, that we may be able to have an experience of God through the people whom we encounter. And as we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius, we also pray that we may be contemplatives in action, finding and seeking God in all things and doing things for the greater glory of God. Amen.